Welcome back. So, I'm in London. That's new. I wish I could show you the beautiful view of the city outside of my window, but I actually don't have one. I can't seem to frame this at all correctly, but there you go. There are my shoulders. It's nice. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I decided to film a video about my foundation routine. Um, I don't know if that's going to be interesting for anyone at all, but that's what I did. Um, I love Mac Studio Sculpt, and I read, I came across an article one day that told me a different way to use it, so I tried it, and I really liked the effect. Um, so I, I filmed it today. Um, I guess that's really all I have to say, other than thank you so much for watching. Um, and, uh, well, let's, let's roll the clip. By the way, I'm not wearing makeup, so prepare yourself. So with this foundation routine, I just kind of wanted to show how I use um, MAC Studio Sculpt because I haven't seen too many um, foundation routines out there with this. I could be very wrong, there could be a ton, and I just haven't gotten to that part of YouTube yet. But, um... Studio Sculpt is my favorite MAC foundation that I've tried. Keep in mind I've only tried two, so this is kind of a biased review. Um, I just think it's slightly better than Pro Long Wear, which is the one that I have tried. And I'm talking quite a lot with no makeup on. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, I need a mirror actually. Mirror, mirror, where would I find a mirror? While I'm here, maybe you can see my new sweater I bought from H&M. It's kind of cute. It was less than 10 pounds, which I guess is cheap, I have no idea. You can't even see that, but it's one of those like, <laughs> nope, no, pointless. Anyway, this is the mirror I'm going to be using, so it's from my Naked 2 palette. I'm just going to take the brush out. Yeah, it fell. Okay. Hmm, <clears throat> great start. I know that not many people um, wear MAC Studio Sculpt, or if they do, I haven't heard about it. Um, Again, I'm going to be very wrong. You're just going to be like, uh, yeah, actually, I wear that. I'm going to show you how I wear it. Why not? Um, I was reading an article on Temptalia once about the... Because I didn't know that this... This is what it looks like. Hello. There we go. Um, I didn't know that this foundation was actually quite new to MAC. It's... It was released in 2011, I believe. She got to interview um, one of the makeup artists. He gave his tips on how to apply it, and I just tried that one day, because I hadn't been doing it that way, and I really liked the effect. So I figured I would just film it and see if you guys liked the way it looked too. Why not? So I'm using um, NC30. That's the color I am. Tiny, tiny bit dark for me, but uh, we'll make it work. Um, oh, I just squeeze a little bit onto the back of my hand. Whoa. That was a little bit of a lot, but that's what I'm going to use. Maybe I have a big face. I don't know. And then, oh, this is the, the trick he m mentioned. Trick? Not a trick. Um, he was like, you can mix it in with some uh, highlighter on the back of your hand before you apply it, and it gives a candlelit from within appearance. And uh, I don't know about you, but that sounds amazing to me. I don't know if it's going to look that way on camera or in person, but we're going to give it a try. Um, so this is Benefit High Beam. Can you... High Beam? Moonbeam. Yeah, my camera doesn't autofocus. What am I doing? This is Benefit Moonbeam. It's really pretty. I've had it for years. Um, this was probably one of the first makeup products I ever really bought. And I got it with a Sephora gift card. So, you know, it holds a special place in my heart. I think I said that before. Um, about something else. So I put quite a lot there. I don't know why, but we're just, you know, I have a lot of foundation on my hand as well. It's going to slide off. We're going to mix it together and see what happens. Um, sorry I'm being so rambly. I have to do this. I usually apply Studio Sculpt with a beauty blender, but I'm not going to use that because I didn't bring it. <laughs> um, but so I'm going to use this the brush I can never remember the name of, the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush. And um, I'm just going to buff it in. And my camera battery is telling me, uh, you need to recharge me. So I'm just going to go ahead and start doing this, mixing it together and uh, applying it. When you die, you die, camera. Sorry, my hair is down. I kind of, like, didn't have the forethought to go, maybe I should put my hair up. So it's, it's down now. It's just it's where it's going to be. Uh, I hope 
this is interesting. <laughs> For somebody. <laughs> also, because I've never really held a mirror successfully in a video, this video is probably going to be half of you just looking at the back of the Naked 2 palette and like, it's like this and it's like, yeah, so this is what I'm doing, you guys. Isn't this great? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, I do this. You know, when you have like extra on your hand and you're just like, well, I need to blend it in my neck, so... I really hope I haven't missed any spots and that they're not like glaringly obvious, but I, I can't see my whole face at the same time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pretend that it's done, pretty much. Uh huh. The camera's still recording, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that brush down. If you want, just do one of those. Sometimes I do that, just so there's no streaky marks and weird patches. And now my hands are dirty. The next step that I always do um, is just the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Peach, which is so much more expensive in London, and I didn't anticipate that, and I'm running out. <laughs> my poor stomach is going to be so hungry for weeks. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Sorry if this is such a weird video, I literally am so tired. Um, and then just under the eye. You've seen this done a million times, I'm sure you do this every day as well, or something like it. And blend. Good enough? Yeah, whatever. Oh shit. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do the other eye, cause duh. Okay, the corrector's done. Not that you could probably tell. Maybe you can. Uh, I have to go get my concealer, but I don't remember where I put it. Maybe it's here. No. No. Yes. This is a great concealer. Um, this came recommended from my uh, former roommate, Richa, who is also a beauty junkie, and... She has a great, she had a great little recommendation here. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's very thin, but it's not like super thin. Wow, I just realized my face looks like super yellowy right now. Um, whatever, I'm just gonna continue on and pretend it looks good. So I've been using this under my eyes because I got a lighter color, which I think is color 20 or something like that. Um, but yeah, it looks really pretty under the eye to like brighten and shit. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Doesn't this look pretty, you guys? Oh boy, they're just gonna throw their phone numbers at me. So I'm just gonna take, what am I talking about? Um, the flat top brush again and just buff it in. Or stipple. You know, that's, that's also something I could do. I just have never really done this. I'm new to like the whole concealing under the eyes thing. I tend to just put the corrector on and then just leave it. And when I, oh god. Anyway, I went to go pick it up, uh, repurchase it at uh, the, a Bobbi Brown counter once. And the makeup artist there, he was like, well, you need a creamy concealer too. You might as well just get the duo, which could have been a sales pitch, I know. Probably was. But then he was like, you can't just put the corrector on and then go. And I was like, what? Why? That's... Well, I know, yeah, I totally can't. <laughs> and then I just left, and I bought it somewhere else, because I didn't want him to know that um, that's what I did. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that. Um, so that's basically the foundation routine. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's the foundation routine. You know what? I'll just show you what I do for bronzer. How about that? Um, this is Max Trace Gold. It's like a bronzy contour like a glittery one. I tried this out at the Mac store and it was like really pretty. So it could not be really pretty. I have no idea, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna carry on and uh, contour. Yeah, and so that's that. And then, you know, I get on with the Dean Winchester highlighting and uh, 
that's basically my base done. All right, well, so that's my foundation routine. Simple, basic, uh, no frills. Kind of frilly, actually, um, depending on who you are and how you look at things. But uh, that is Mac Studio Sculpt with Benefit Moonbeam underneath, or mixed in. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, and apologies for the hair, because I just saw that. Uh, it's not it's not my best hair day. I hope you enjoyed that, and um, if you did, I hope to see you in my next one. Okay, bye!